Hello there. Listen, sometimes you just want to try something stupid and see if it works. I want to take the Soviet Union in Hoi 4 in all of its enormity and resist the Germans as tank only. They're going to be expensive, they're going to eat up fuel, and they're going to have basically no hardness, so I'm going to be suffering. I do all kinds of silly little challenges like this, as well as way too much historical nerdery on other videos, so subscribe if you want more. Plus, you can help me hit the 50k sub goal for a massive celebration video where I do all of the strange and impossible challenges recommended to me in my comments. Right, so here's the rules. I'm taking a leaf out of the wonderful Florius and requiring my divisions to have at least 50% hardness, as well as nothing that walks on two legs. So that means a lot of tanks and trucks. Please send help. Okay, here we are, the Soviet Union. We're gonna have the hell that is Stalin. I hate you, Stalin. We're obviously gonna have to get through our tree and go historical by sticking with gross Stalin and deal with all that awful paranoia system. However, the main reason why I wanted to try this was because of one particular technology, and that is the Engineer Company 2. This not only gives you lots of entrenchment, but you get the Dozer Blade. This gives a flat entrenchment to the tank that it's assigned to. So I wanted to see how how good this would make tanks if I just had crap tons of dozer blades and tons of entrenchment. And that is what we're going to be doing. The broad goal is that I have to have 50% hardness within my divisions, which means I do basically just need to remove one of the motorized. I'm probably going to be going for around a 15 width for my defensive template, but we'll deal with that once I get actual experience and some more equipment. I will be allowing myself the ability to have armored supports. So the very first thing obviously we're going to need to do is take all of our army, click into there, and convert them to the tank. Oh, I need 33,000 light tanks and 15,000 trucks. Oh my god, I will never financially recover from this. However, big benefit, look at all the stuff I get. I get billions of infantry equipment. That is interesting. The actual tank that we start with is the BT-7, which does use the improved chassis, and it's like surprisingly good. It has the improved little cannon, it's got welded armor, it's it's not bad. However, we are definitely going to need to upgrade this to having a radio for the extra defense, otherwise we're going to explode. Plus, probably just tack on as much additional things that give us extra defense, like smoke launchers, as possible. The plan is to make this one just a completely defensive tank, just sit there on the line and make it as cheap as possible, so I really don't need this much engine. Very standard little bits of industry. I just got done playing Black Ice. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to have so much more simplicity in what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't have to click 15,000 things. It's amazing. Because we have so many guns from deleting all of our armies, we're really not going to need any gun factories. We are going to need plenty of support equipment and a little bit of artillery, but mostly we're going to need tanks and also trucks. So many trucks. Oh man, I hadn't realized it, but I'm suffering so much attrition just from standing around in the winter. I think I actually have to sort of divide everybody up a little bit so that we don't explode. Always mobilize the armed forces against Turkey and they compromise, which gives us a nice little bit of war support, making it much easier to get to war economy. Here comes the dreaded paranoia system. I hate you so. Oh, you're lame. But it's okay, we're just gonna rush down the purge stuff and then do the eco stuff while we wait, because it's 175 days in between. We're also gonna be grabbing the Okmo tank designer, which is the infantry tanks, with the entire reason being it's got some pretty nice specialties for light and medium, but primarily because it gives me 10% defense for light tank equipment, and also extra defense for all armor, which is very nice. Got my six most experienced tanks, volunteers, and then, because I saved up all my points, I can then send an attache. Okay, no, I can't. I forget. You have to improve relations for some reason. There we go. And now we have enough to go to war economy. All we gotta do is have enough political power. And now that I have basic armor protection, I think it's time we just change up the design of the tank. I'm also actually gonna put the close support gun on. Does mean that we lose a lot of hard attack but the extra soft attack is just too godly. It's just too good. We are, of course, going to be changing its name to something a little bit more appropriate. I I'm not weird. This is the latest YouTube member. I'm going to have to stare at this name the whole game. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice and early war economy. Oh, it's beautiful. So many more factories. Oh, I do love the Chiang Kai-shek arrested event. And it all completely messes up history, but we'll keep everything going historical. We'll say he's still needed. Please don't. Chop his head up. Yes, I will be taking the gold as payment. Oh my god, they've naval invaded Ran Alicante. This is terrible. Uh, I really don't want to lose all my forces. Oh god, we're completely surrounded. Oh, okay. My boys made it out. Thank goodness. 
just before they all died. Playing as the Soviets after the Spanish Civil War is over is just so relaxing. I'm just building. It's all I do. I build endless civilian factories and infrastructure. And I'm probably gonna need to start pivoting to mills soon-ish. Hey, we instantly won the border war. I didn't even notice. Give us that land doctrine. I have to rush the positive heroism focus because I desperately need Rokovsky. Rokovsky. 15% defense. Very necessary. We're now nicely in mid-39, time to just absolutely pile on the military factories, just build as many as possible. Oh, there goes Poland. Shame I don't really care. I've still got two years, baby. We're gonna prepare. I'm also starting to actually recruit divisions. Only about five so far, but it's something. Hey, and there's the improved medium tank chassis, giving us the glorious... Actually, thinking about that, I actually need to move to mobile warfare right now, which then allows me to go motorization drive, which makes changing divisions very easy. But now for the tank. Look at that, a nice simple T-34. Is it quite right? No, but it's basically the T-34. I love it. And uh, I did in fact forget to add the dozer blade attachment, so I'm gonna go do that now. Might as well also get some lovely entrenchment with a lovely light flame tank. There's never any point putting any kind of MIOs on this or stats, because putting flame tank basically just ruins it. Let's just call it a desire after a patron and move on. Here it is. This is what we're going to be doing. A 14 width. I think it's going to be a little smarter to have more divisions that I can cycle in and out of combat because we are going to be so fast. It's a pretty simple one. It has exactly 50% hardness and it's got all the beautiful support companies that I could hope for. I'm not a big fan of its armor. <laughs> but it's the best we're going to be able to do. And we're also going to have a offensive tank template, which is going to be filled with T-34s. The idea here is that it's a little bit bigger, an 18 combat width, which I think is probably at the moment a pretty optimal design with 51% hardness. And I've also swapped out the entrenchment boy for a flame tank company. God, I hope this does not get me wrecked. We've also got to build the newest tank using the advanced light tank chassis. This is the T-60, but it's actually called the... Singularity, after another member. It's basically just a slightly upgraded gun and everything else. Big piercing. I've decided to put a improved small cannon on it for now. This will allow us to have our divisions have a little bit more heart attack mixed in. Very chunky on armor and tons of defense, y you know, relatively. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. I'm going to start building it as a separate line because I do really need to prioritize just getting my divisions having any tanks. I'm also very, very late on submitting to the Balkan countries. Really should have done this a little bit earlier, but there we go. All right, it's getting pretty close to Barbarossa time, so let's just start to prepare. I've got one full field marshal's worth of pure tanks directly on the border. I am going to try to do that little tactic where I hold up on the border. Is it very smart? I don't think so, but that's what we're going to do. I've got 22 divisions holding this, and there are two divisions per tile. They'll be the guys to fall back first, and we're just abandoning Stanislava, of course. And my hope is to just completely hold them. I don't think it will work, but I'm very curious to try, because remember, I am very fast. I can pull back super quick. I've also got some divisions that are making their way over to, like, Finland, and I'll reinforce them in a bit. And I've got four divisions under Zukov, who should, quotation marks, be able to be my offensive boys. And I think I'll probably have them, uh, what do I want to counter? Grodno, just in case. They're going to be there to counter immediately. Oh, and also, I suppose I should actually be uh, training them, right? It's going to absolutely tank my experience, but or rather my equipment, but I think it's necessary. I'm also starting to build a line of forts along the front. Oh, yes, please give me peace for now, Japan. Thank you. A line of forts along the line, and then we'll start building reserve forts here as well. Christ, I was still training. I almost forgot to stop it so they can have a chance to get their entrenchment. It's almost time. Well, it's the 1st of July, and uh, nothing's happening. I've got all my boys ready. They got their max entrenchment. I could have trained for a little bit longer. Germany, are you going to do anything? or or what okay only now are they justifying on me what that's crazy all right back to freaking training then okay okay finally there it is god damn that took so long oh finland immediately is attacking me but i've got boys on the line anyway mostly there to just sort of counterattack. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send this guy just to hold them and the rest of these guys can build up entrenchment as they gather their stuff. I'm uh, holding back on the rivers because I knew I'd never be able to hold everything. So straight away we're being hit, and you know what? It's not too bad. Okay, so they're hitting me pretty heavily, and I got a lot of defense. Annoyingly, all of their divisions can pierce me. Uh, I was really hoping they wouldn't be able to. They have a piercing of 13, and my tank divisions have an armor of 13. Okay, some of them have like 11 and 8. Okay, that's why. Oh god, I gotta make sure to actually do the bonuses really fast. Desperate measures, desperate measures, fast, 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 so you can get lessons of war. 
For the love of God, hurry up. They are doing quite a bit of damage to me, but their heart attack is so terribly low. Our organization is not great, of course, but hey, could be worse. The line is holding. It's a bit terrifying, but we'll do our best. But the most important thing is that we can go to total mobilization. Kind of forgot to do that. These guys are hitting me along the entire front line, including an absolutely massive concentration of Italians on the Romanian border. But they're weirdly not any good, and we're winning quite nicely. We also have some expeditionary forces from Tanu Tuva, but I cannot accept them. I'm sorry, they won't be tanks. Alright, we've lost the first little section now. It looks like that Laval... I don't think we're going to be able to maintain that, so we'll destroy the infrastructure real quick. Desperate measures has been passed, and I'm frantically constructing forts all along the lines here because I know I'm just going to have to fall back pretty soon. Probably going to try and get as many forts as I can. And in the meantime, we are holding relatively well. It's been about a month of combat. We have suffered 127,000 casualties. The Germans have suffered 320. Pretty good. Combat losses for me, I've got lost 11,000 infantry equipment, of which 2,000 has been stolen. And the Germans have lost 22,000. And we've had our very first breakthroughs. Oh boy, that's not so good. Oh, I didn't want to have to pull out so quick. All right, still doing a bit more of a general retreat. Just trying to fall back a little bit because they are pushing us pretty badly. We're starting to experience a bit more casualties. Finally, the rains are here. Oh, yes. Extra orc loss when moving. And mud. 70% attrition, 40% attack. That is going to help bleed the Germans dry. Biggest thing here is the equipment losses. Look at the amount of infantry equipment destroyed on the enemy's side. That's brilliant. Trying to do a bit of a staggered retreat right now and assign new boys to this reserve line without abandoning too much. This bit's the danger zone. There's very few divisions here. I'm not really sure why. They've moved over here, but my hope is that I can just stack up and prepare for the retreat here. Doing some incredibly controlled retreats right now, and it is extremely blizzardy, which is absolutely amazing. Huge org loss when moving, positioning. It's, it's great. I love it. I think it is about time to do a full-on retreat now. So I'm going to draw the line along this beautiful defensive position I built. And we're going to retreat everyone slowly. Here's what I'm thinking to do. We shrink down this line to Grodno. And this bit to there. And then send everybody to go to those lines. So maybe they'll actually defend. This is a great idea. Time to just start blowing everything. I've managed to pull out pretty much all the forces now. I've still got like 30 divisions stuck here. But I think it's time. Just go. Just go. Move. I can finally replace one of the motorized battalions with a mechanized in the offensive template. Yes, this makes them a little better, but mainly the thing I care about is this. <laughs> it gives me some trucks. I'm out of trucks. Well, it is 1942, and this is our line. It's holding up along the Dnepr. I was hoping I wouldn't have to retreat here, but I did. The Romanians are extremely weak, which is interesting. And moving up, the line gets a lot stronger as more Germans start to concentrate. And they're trying to hit me really hard here, but they don't have the combat with oh i'm so stupid i've been sitting on army xp i could have gone i could have got elastic defense oh the tank org <laughs> need to be remembering to upgrade my tanks with the latest radios i need that defense please and more armor too who cares about reliability go away i don't need your speed just constantly popping out new divisions to replace the ones who are suffering massive casualties. Every now and then they launch some kind of horrific attack right on my borders and an all-out front especially weirdly in the bad weather which isn't the smartest move and it says i'm going to lose with 18 as a minus but the thing is their stats are so bad because of my levels of forts and river crossing and weirdly i, I can actually most of my tank divisions have enough armor to resist them and beat their piercing so what's happening is i don't actually lose they didn't just immediately stop the attack they just attack for like a second and then stop but one or two of them will stay. That's such weird behavior. Why? We've managed to make it into the summer, so it has now been almost... Actually, no, it wasn't a full year, because it took ages to declare, but they've not yet pushed past anywhere on the line. I'm not quite sure where the German divisions have gone, but they've mostly pulled back... Well, there's still quite a lot here, actually. But we've done quite well, and we're getting a chance to rebuild our supplies. I have lost quite a few divisions, and I've had to replace them with recruitments. I've been recruiting six or five at a time as I go. We are still down 17,000 light tanks, but in only 240 days, we'll catch up. Maybe in a year's time, we can think about a push. Oh, look at that. They're force attacking me. Meta. So meta. Ah, oh, tanker grad instantly giving me 10 factories. Look how many factories we're building. I'm just going to throw them all into light tanks. Ah, desperate measures is done. Fantastic. This means as soon as merged tank and material plants is over, 
We can get on to Lessons of War and maybe consider some actual offensives. Oh my god, I am finally in massive surplus of almost everything. And according to this, in a hundred days, I will be out of light tank deficit. Oh yes. I think for me that means I need to start thinking about making some SPGs using my improved light tank chassis because I have so many bloody tens of thousands of them. Swap on over to a medium howitzer with a light fix superstructure. Slap on artillery. And that is a 64 soft attack tank. Slap on a stabilizer for more breakthrough and some easy maintenance and more armor upgrades. And oh boy, that is a nice little tank. Or SPG. Pick a model that doesn't look absolutely atrocious. Yeah, I like that one. That is definitely a Lesk. After another lovely member. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do this considering I don't have infantry, but I do indeed need to go to limited conscription. I've lost enough men. Let's get a little bit of recruitable pop. Speaking of, we have lost a total of 900,000 men in this year and a bit war. The Germans have lost over 2 million. We're in the winter of 43, it is January, and the Germans have stopped. They have seemingly stopped attacking whatsoever, probably because, I don't know, I think they're on like the Vichy border or something. I don't know what's going- Oh my god, Britain's invaded. I swear, in this most recent patch, Britain always- Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say they always invade and cap Italy really early, but never mind. Yes, we finally have an excess of tanks. 2.3 thousand, so let's start converting. Oh, baby, five a day, let's go. And you know what? This means we really do not need this many tanks. So let's go up to T-34s and start crapping them out. And let's start really putting down the Yum Sooks. I've also now got the 1943 chassis. This is going to be my big one. Look at this. Take up the whole screen with it. The Marlin Sock. Another member. It's got the cannons. It's got the armor. It's got a crazy high production cost. I love it. I do not love the steel requirements, though. Holy. Down to limited exports I go. Okay, I did technically lose Leningrad for like a second, but don't worry about it. I just wasn't paying attention, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We are actually now completely fully equipped. What happens if I just try to attack? Just a little bit. You know, just a touch. Oh. Oh, it goes all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they can't pierce me. Oh, I destroy them. Since I now have pretty much full stockpiles, I've done some maneuvering because the German line is surprisingly small. So I've reallocated the medium tanks that were here elsewhere, made a new combined southern front to push towards Romania. And uh, I, I got 20 medium tanks ready to go. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it's beautiful. What is this? We're just crushing them. Obviously, it was very, very unpleasant when I was didn't have any equipment or supplies or anything, but now my boys are so strong. They don't seem to be able to actually do anything to me because now I have enough tanks. They can't pierce me. They have 14 piercing and this guy's got 38 armor. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I haven't done any pushes in the south because there's actually most of the German army and Romanian army is here. So let's just uh, see what happens. Okay. <laughs> It's just, they're just erupting across the whole countryside. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just letting it battle plan. It's like this one division that's really low org. Okay, he doesn't win, but still. We do still have Finland to think about. I haven't done anything there, but I've just been so preoccupied with dealing with this border. But look at this. This is just embarrassing, Germany. What are you doing? This is actually kind of crazy. Um, let's... Let's stop doing this kind of insane push we're doing, and let's just <laughs> maybe see if we can get some pockets. I like pockets; they're, they're they're very satisfying. Let's let's hold up the advance a second to let everyone move back to. Oh my God! Look how fast we are! All right, let's give them some battle plan, and let's just go straight to Zormir. Can we just can we just completely encircle this giant chunk of the German army, please? They are actually trying to do some small counter pushes here. Oh, getting a bit scared, are we, Finland? Oh, yeah, go on. You can have the armistice. Off you go. And we're immediately in deficit of light tanks again. Oh, wow. Okay. I was too overzealous. This bulge is just horrible. Look at it. It looks like a little horse. It's like a little horse poking his little head out. You see what I mean? There's the ears. Maybe. All right. The attack is somewhat faltered. Uh, I haven't been able to push much past. In fact, they are actually pushing me just a little bit, probably because I've immediately started to run out of supplies. I'm immediately 7,000 light tanks down. Oh my god. How could this have happened? No. It's fine. We'll rest up, re-prepare, and then we'll do another offensive in the summer. Maybe try and close off this pocket. I'm actually just starting to get pushed a bit. There's this horrible salient, but I just can't stop them from pushing me here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the medium tanks, the 20 mediums in the Zukov, and use them to help shore up this line here on the plains. 
Oh, there we go. And maybe I can start to counter push or something. It's incredible how fast I've lost light tanks. Look at this. All right. As long as the mediums get a chance to get involved, we win every combat. So no big deal. It's just the problem is the light tanks are no good. I almost wonder if I should have done medium tanks to begin with. Despite the fact that I have so many divisions, I still find myself having to constantly corral the line. Wait, what is this? What? Why do I have two different lines? What? There are two different lines here. Why is this? Why is this the case? Oh my god, no wonder my left is feeling really weak. Oh, come on. Look at that, that's much better. Honestly, the longer we leave this, the better, because look at the attrition that they're suffering in this pocket. 45%. Get wrecked, Germany. Oh yeah, medium tanks are, are the way. Look at this. I mean, we're not as fast as going light tanks, obviously, but this is just crazy. The amount that you can encircle and so quickly. Oh, um... Right. I forgot I technically shared a border with Norway. Oh, crap. I guess let's uh, just move an entire army up to the north. Kind of weakening the southern line a little bit. Let's try to provide defenses there. There we go. Push to the Vistula. Now we can hold that a bit and maybe try to fix this horrendous bulge. I absolutely hate it. All right, I've been waiting for this the whole game. Look at this massive bulge. Uh, just just ignore that. But come on, I want to I wanna do it. Please. Please! Yes, look at this. The tanks just pile in. Here it comes! Just knock him out. Do it. Do it. Come on. That looks so good. How many divisions is in that pocket? Oh, 78 divisions. Yes! Currently, we've caused 5 million casualties on the Germans. I really want to see what it's like after this. Oh, that is such a little pocket. I love it. Time to die. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. It says 85 now. Okay, it's 85 divisions. That's, that seems to have grown. I don't know why. I'm so ready. Oh my god, that's so good. Let's watch the casualties tick up. 5.7 million. Oh, they're gone. That just happened so fast. That was almost a million men. Holy crap. Now that was satisfying. Seems like maybe cutting off the Romanian front is the best move for now. Let's give that a try. Oh my god. The push is so easy. They just collapse. And that's the railroad cut of like 60 divisions. Goodbye, Romanian army. Oh my god. Look at the encirclement. It's beautiful. I didn't even get a chance to see how many divisions were in that line. Uh, their casualties are very high now. All right, despite the fact that I was doing super well, it's still taking a while because they do have a lot of divisions. I have pushed really deeply into Romania now, but I'm kind of stuck in the mountains. We'll let them throw themselves at us and maybe we can cut down. Also, what the hell, guys? It's June 6th. Come on. Let's go. Go on, let's try for another general push. It's June. We can do it. We can afford it. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta annihilate. Come on, just keep pushing. Keep going. Get to the nice exposed belly. Oh my god, look at that pocket. I want I want another one. I don't care about winning. I just want pockets. I have the same opinion in Hoy as women do about dresses. I just want pocket. Oh, I didn't even have to think about it. Look at that. Oh, so many divisions. We are actually now pushing past pretty heavily. Oh my god, we're just spilling in. Uh, okay, we're a little overexposed. Let's stop battle planning. <laughs> please, please stop. All right, one more general halt in July here, and then let's prepare. Maybe try and circle the entirety of Romania, please. And then just move up and cap them. Oh, about time you showed up, allies. God, where were you? There we go. We've moved our forces over to this side because it was just too mountainous. Let's just take Bucharest and completely cap them. Oh, and there goes Italy. Oh, cool. They've attacked the south. Fair enough, fair enough. Their forces are trying to escape. Quick, close the gaps. Oh, there it is. Mm. Ah, beautiful. Thank you very much for your equipment. Should we just do a general push and see what happens a bit? Oh, boys. Straight to Berlin. Oh, God. Hungary's dead. How? Oh, what the hell? I wasn't even looking, and my boys have just peeled across. The Axis basically has no entrenchment whatsoever, so they're just getting obliterated. That is... That's nice. I like that. Oh, wow. D-Day got completely repulsed. Good job, allies. Where would I be without you? Thanks. Yes, Berlin. Okay. Where's the allies? Not even on the continent. Well, I mean, they actually are in Italy, um, but... Shut up. Ah, the slow joy of just galloping across Germany. And you forgot to put a collab government on. So you have to wait until you take pretty much the entirety of the country. Because for some reason, their war support is at 79% despite being annihilated. Their stability is at 96. Look at this. How have they not capitulated? There is no Germany left. I think literally no part of Germany remains. This is all Austria. The only bit that remains is this one section. 
and Hamburg. And that's enough for them to survive. All of Germany is occupied. Give up. Thank you. My God. All right, now just to absolutely barrel through what's left of Italy. I feel like if this were the situation for Italy, they would just capitulate. They would they would sign an armistice and move on with their lives. There it is. A hey. All of Europe. I have so many points. There it is. The peace deal. Unfortunately, I couldn't get good borders. They really, really wanted Upper Austria. But we've got nice big chunks. And that's it. This was tank only the Soviet Union. It was absolutely hell until I built an obscene amount of forts and survived. Seriously, I have level 7 forts on so much of this because that is the only way I could survive. Suffered innumerable casualties and lost 240,000 equipment of which 30,000 of it was tanks and 20,000 trucks. But it's okay. The enemy lost almost a million. Thank you very much for watching. For more unique little strange challenges and lots of weird historicity, including more historical divisions only in the future, do be sure to like the video and subscribe. I have a very strange goal coming up at 50k subs, so I'd love it if you help me reach it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye